uh, you just have got some questions without wasting much time can you tell me the angles there right come on come on you need to tell me well what rule do you apply as you solve more and more sums it's very easy to actually find the uh, missing angles and to apply the, the rule that we learned well we got the we got two points there there is an angle formed at the center right that that is 82 that is formed by the same arc there watch I'll just make it a bit thick for you to see that blue arc is making an angle at the center the same one is making an angle at the uh, circumference so that should be well it, it's it's like a star uh, a star and a dot we all know a star is double the dot so k should be what that's a 82 so angle at the top there should be half of this that should be 41 degrees into your work worksheets let's go 41 now let's go for the second one you i don't have to tell tell you you know the answer by this time right that should be a 55 because this is 110 right now let's move to question number three well it says <coughs> sorry it says remember the rules and these are not drawn to scale so please watch there it says they are not drawn to scale so don't go and measure that angle x there all right <coughs> you need <coughs> sorry you need to apply the rules right so let's just turn it like this to actually see right let's see how we can do this sum let's consider that that arc there watch there that arc this arc is making an angle at the center this is the reflex angle please which is more than 180 and less than 360 that's a 232 the same arc is making an angle at the uh, circum circumference the, the rest of the part there what do you expect this angle to be come on right it should be half of that so it will be 116 right that's a 232 that should be 116 all right let's try please try and solve uh, remaining sums then you you can actually uh, come back and then check whether you're right or wrong all right right let's go on to question number four now uh, this also looks like the first one on only but uh, let's be careful please the angle at the center is 100 so what do you expect that angle to be right that's a 50 good job right that's a 50 do not measure these angles please the the, the, the whole drawing here is not drawn to scale now how do we, we find that missing angle there is there any rule that we need to apply that we learned today <coughs> Many students asked me a uh, doubt in this in this case, right? Do not uh, listen. It's it's so easy. You got four sided figure. Watch the actual shape. How many sides are there? Just just count. It's one, two, three, four. It's a four sided closed figure. So what mathematical name you actually can give this, right? It's called a quadrilateral, right? It's a quadrilateral. Okay now <clears throat> what do you know about the interior angles of a uh, a, a four-sided figure <clears throat> that should be 360 right so we know one angle there as 50 this angle is given to you as 32 now that angle they asked us to find which is a b now do we know this angle here we need to find that angle okay the outside angle is 100 what do you expect the inside angle to be right 260 come on complete angle should be 360 so 360 minus 100 should be 260 now simply you know three angles there right you are finding the fourth one and you know that the total should be 360 happy so you know what to do now all right now well I'm not going to find B come on you all know how to add those three and then uh, sub subtract from 360 let's look at question number five <coughs> look at question number five uh, how many of you <coughs> solve that think well if I join those two points there mentally I, I got a card 
this chord is making an angle 40 there and making an angle N here. What do you expect N to be? Right? That should be a 40 again. Right? Those two are equal. We learn the rule angles in the same segment are equal. Angles made by the same chord are equal. Now, how do you find M and 70? People, geometry when you do, you can actually turn the picture as you like and make sure that you, you apply the rules, right? If I join those two points, right, mentally, do you agree I got a chord? This chord is making an angle M, watch there, the same chord is making an angle M. Now this green chord is making an angle 70, right? So the green chord is responsible for the angle 70 and also M. So angles made by the same chord are equal, M equals to 70, <coughs> right? That's how you need to do uh, this sum, all right? So we, we applied those rules, uh, all the three rules that we have learned, and it's easy to solve the sums, <coughs> all right? Uh, as we go along now, the sums will be a little bit uh, harder than uh, they, they are up to now, okay? Remember the, the three rules that you learned. Let's just go over that again. Come on, think. <clears throat> angle at the center is double the angle at the circumference, right? The second rule, <clears throat> angles in the same segment or angles made by the same chord are equal, <clears throat> okay? Then <clears throat> rule number three, semicircle. Remember that. The angle in a semicircle is a right angle, okay? The angle in a semicircle is a right angle. Okay, those are the three rules we need to apply. Let's look for the uh, next sums now. Well, it's fun, come on. If you apply the rules, you can actually solve the, the sums well. Right, we, we have question six. <clears throat> come on, think. There is a line passing through the center point. What do you call that line? There's a line passing through the center point. Come on, we, we learned it. We call it as diameter right we call it as that now once you see that line you immediately have to think about semicircle so if i put the picture like this it's very easy for you to see right i got a semicircle there right that top one there <coughs> sorry now the angle in a semicircle is a right angle so that complete angle those two angles should be 90 there when you add Right, that's a 40, what do you expect K to be? Come on, that should be 50, because 50 plus the 40 is 90. 